Okay, Mr. Rob's here. So we're going to consider w is negative i times z. And I want to calculate w when z is 2 plus i. And so if I simply do for a part i, w is equal to negative i times 2 plus 2i, which I get here. If I distribute it, I get negative 2i. Distribute this, I get negative 2i squared, which is a positive 2. And I want to sketch both of them, them on my argand diagram. So I'm going to sketch them here. Let me try that again. Here we go. Here's my argand diagram. And I am going to put w. I'm going to start with z. I get 2. 2 plus 2i here. This is 2 plus 2i. This is equal to z. And then I know w is down here. I go 2 minus 2i. This is w, which is equal to 2 minus 2i. And if I think about what happened here, and I know here is my complex number, I've sketched them both. Describe the geometric transformation that changes z to w. Well, I know that there's a lot of similarities here. And so I could consider when I multiply complex numbers, I know I am rotating by angles. Even though it looks like it's a reflection over the x-axis, I've also rotated negative i all by itself is right here. This is negative i. And so I could consider a clockwise rotation of 90 degrees or a counterclockwise right rotation of 270. So if I go from here and if I rotate around 270, I get here. Or I think it's easier to see a clockwise rotation of 90 is what happened here. And so the geometric transformation is a clockwise rotation clockwise rotation of 90 degrees. And so that's what multiplying by negative i does. Okay, so now let's take a look at the second one here. Okay, so I know a w z plus 3i. Well, w is equal to z plus 3i, which I know is 2 plus 5i. So if I go 2, 5i is here, 2 plus 5i. And if I do my original z is 2 plus 2i. There are both of my scenarios here. And what I can see is these are on the same line. We can clearly see that these are on the same vertical line if I've drawn it well. And so what it means is I have shifted this up three units. And so this here is a vertical shift in a positive three units up. Okay. And so now we can, when we are working with complex numbers, there are geometric transformations that correspond to both.